Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this cute and cuddly hooded dog blanket. So the yarn that I'm using for this pattern is Bernat Softy Chunky, and I'll be showing the toddler size worked up in baby blue, but you can use any color for your blankets. You'll need two hook sizes for this pattern, a 10 millimeter crochet hook, as well as a 6.5 millimeter hook. And these are furl streamline hooks and I'll have a link in the description box with a coupon code as to where you can purchase. The blanket is worked in a nice textured stitch that is really easy and beginner friendly. So I'm going to show you how to work up a small swatch of the blanket to get you started. So for our toddler size, you'll be chaining 55, but if you go to the description box and purchase the PDF, it will include sizing all the way up to adult. So I will just work up a smaller swatch here with you. So I will just chain out 11. You want to chain an odd number of stitches for this pattern. Okay, so I've worked up 11. Now what I'd like you to do is turn your chain so that you can see the back humps of the chain. We're gonna work into those rather than the back loop of the chain. It just it gives our edge a little cleaner look. So work single crochet stitches, second chain from the hook and each back bump across. So for the toddler size blanket, you'll end up with a total of 55 stitches across the blanket. And I am just gonna have a total of 10 to show you quickly how the stitch pattern is worked. So I'll chain one and turn. And now row two of the pattern, we'll get into our stitch pattern. And what we'll do is work one single crochet into that first stitch. And then we'll work a double crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet in the next and a double crochet in the next. And I'll just have you repeat that across. So now you should be ending with a double crochet. We'll chain one and turn, and we'll just be repeating that pattern across. So one single crochet in the first. So your single crochet is going in the double crochet of the previous row. And then your double crochet is going into the single crochet of the previous row. And we just repeat this and it is so simple yet it creates this beautiful textured design for the blanket. So all you'll do now is repeat row two throughout the pattern. So a single double crochet repeat for the entire blanket. And what I would like you to do is work up until you have your desired length. So for our toddler size, we're gonna work approximately 26 inches worth of work, but follow along with your pattern for the size you're working on and just continue working until you've reached that desired length. So I've completed the blanket portion and it's measuring about 35 inches by 26 inches. And once we add our edging, the finished blanket should be about 36 inches wide. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to work the hood for the toddler size blanket. We'll be using the main color and our 10 millimeter hook and let's get a slip knot and put that on the hook. So we'll begin by chaining out seven. So now we're gonna work an extended single crochet in the second chain from the hook and each chain across. Mm -hmm. 
So to work an extended crochet, single crochet, we're going through the chain, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, pull through two. And when we get to that final chain, we're gonna add two. Okay, and then we're gonna turn and work onto the opposite side of the chain. We're just repeating what we did on this side. So for the first chain, we wanna add want to add two and then we're going to work down this side of the chain so we should be working down a total of five so one two three four and five. So we have seven stitches on this side, seven stitches on this side for a total of 14 stitches, and then we'll chain one and turn to start the next row. So now we'll work extended single crochets in each of the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five and then we'll work two in each of the next four stitches so we're placing two extended single crochets into each of the next four stitches And then you should have your five stitches remaining and we'll just work one extended single crochet in each of the next five. So now I've turned in chain one, we're gonna work one extended single crochet into each of the next six stitches. And then we'll work two in each of the next six. So adding two extended single crochets into each of the next six stitches. Now you should have six stitches remaining and you're gonna work one extended single crochet in each of the next six. Now for row four, we'll chain one and turn and we're not gonna do any increases for this row. So we'll just work one in every stitch for a total of 24 stitches. And now for row five, we're gonna do another increase row. So what we'll do is work one extended single crochet in each of the next eight. So I will work those eight and then meet you up again. Okay, and now you should have eight stitches remaining and I'll get you to work one extended single crochet into each of the next eight. So now we have a total of 32 stitches. I'm gonna chain one and turn and we're gonna begin into our stitch pattern, the same pattern that we worked for the blanket. So we'll work a single crochet in the first, a double crochet in the next single crochet in the next and double crochet in the next. And we're just repeating that pattern all the way around. So we're gonna have that nice, beautiful textured stitch on the hood as well as the blanket. Okay, so you should be ending with a double crochet in your final stitch. Chain one and turn. 
And so now we'll be repeating row six throughout. So I would like you to work a total of 15 rows in total, and that should complete the size of the hood we want. So I'm gonna go and complete these rows off camera, and then I'll meet you up once I've completed a total of 15 rows. Okay, so I've worked up a total of 15 rows. I'm just gonna fasten off with a long tail for sewing to the blanket. You can just pull that through and you can take a look at how this hood is gonna look, okay? So as you work, your hood just continues to fold over. This is the back of the hood and this is the front. I can just give it a little measure for you just to see if you're on track with the sizing. So it is about 17 inches and the back of the hood is measuring about seven. Okay, so that should be the size for your toddler. And now we'll work on the ears and our facial pieces for the dog. Okay, so I've already made one eye and I'll work through how to make the second eye with you. So you're gonna need your black yarn and your taupe yarn. And I'll be using the 6.5 millimeter crochet hook now for working the eye. Follow along with your pattern for the size you're working on. So for the toddler size, we'll begin with our magic ring. And I'm going to add seven single crochet to that ring. So we'll pull through and chain one and now work seven single crochet in the ring. Okay, so once you have your stitches in your ring to pull it tight, you're gonna take your tail, start pulling it in. It'll only pull in one of the loops. Take the loop it's pulled in, give it a tug, it will pull that other loop in and then take your tail and pull. Then we can slip stitch into our first single crochet to join. and we'll chain one. Now we'll work two single crochet in the first stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochet in the next stitch, and then in the next stitch we'll work two double crochet. and then work two single crochet in the last three stitches. And on our last single crochet, we're gonna change color to the taupe. Okay, and we'll slip stitch into the first single crochet to join. We can cut the black yarn and move that out of the way. So now for round three, we'll chain one, we'll work one single crochet in the first stitch. We'll work two single crochet in the next. One single crochet in the next, and then two single crochet in the next. One in the next, and two in the next and then we should be coming to those double crochet stitches and we'll continue with that increase pattern but instead we'll do doubles now so a double crochet in the next and then two double crochet in the next this is just giving our dog's eye a little bit of shape so now we should have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches remaining. And we're gonna continue with the increase, or yes, the increase pattern of one single crochet and then two single crochet. So just repeat that around. Okay, and then this completes the eye. So we'll slip stitch to join. And I am going to fasten off with a long tail. You'll need a long tail because we'll use this to sew the eye to the hood. And to save on a little bit of weaving, you can just knot these tails at the back. 
Just make sure you knot them well and give them a trim. And then what we can also do is add the little piece of white fleck and that just gives our eye a little bit more dimension. So my eyes, they kind of go a little droopy and you can add a little piece of white yarn. Just take a bit of white, add it to a yarn needle and I'm going through that second round of black yarn of black there and we just want to give that eye a little bit of a highlight just not to the back trim those tails And then we have the eyes completed. So next up, we'll work on the nose and the face piece. So for our nose, we're using the black yarn and our smaller hook. We will chain three, work a single crochet in each of the next two chains. Second chain from the hook and third chain. So now we have two stitches, we'll chain one in turn work two single crochet into each stitch. Chain one, then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch across. two single crochet in the last stitch and then we'll continue to single crochet around the piece. And slip stitch in that starting single crochet to join and I'll fasten that off. Just going to weave in that starting tail just to get that out of the way so that the nose will be ready and I'll just set that aside for now. Okay, so next we'll work on the muzzle pieces. So we've already made one, so you're just making two the exact same. So we're using our smaller hook and white yarn. So let's make a magic ring. You're grabbing your first loop, pulling it through and chain two. Now we're gonna work nine double crochet in the ring. Okay, so once you've worked your nine, we're gonna pull our ring tight. So I always just like to push the work out of the way. Take my tail pull, you'll see only one loop's gonna pull in. Take the loop that's pulling, give it a tug, it's gonna pull the other loop tight and then just take your tail and pull. We're gonna slip stitch into that first double crochet to join. Chain one and then we'll work two single crochet in every stitch around. Okay, and I'll complete that off camera. Slip stitch to join, and I'm gonna leave a long tail for my second piece, because I'll use that for sewing. You can weave in the tail on the back just to get it out of the way. OK, 
Okay, and then what we're gonna do is sew our pieces together so we can have the right sides facing. We can use the tail, the shorter tail, to sew them. Get this on our yarn needle. And you're gonna wanna sew approximately four stitches. So I'm just lining it up so that I can do about four and then we'll be using that tail to sew around the piece. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. And just weave that tail. Okay, so now what we're going to do, so I've woven in all of my tails so that we don't have any tails to worry about. We're now going to join on to make the face marking. So from the center, I want you to count over about three stitches. So we'll be working in three stitches on this side, three stitches on this side. So join in, we'll chain one and work a single crochet, single crochet in the next, we'll work a double crochet, and then over onto the next circle, we'll do a double crochet. We'll do a single crochet in the next two. Chain one and turn. We'll now do a single crochet to tog, so we'll do a decrease across the first two stitches, work a single crochet into the next two, and then a tog, a single crochet, two tog across the last two. Chain one and turn. We'll do a tog across next two and a single crochet tog again across the next two. So now we've reduced to only two stitches. We'll chain one and turn. A single crochet in each, chain one and turn. And then we'll work two and two. chain one and turn. We'll work one single crochet in each stitch across. Chain one and turn. And now we're just going to single crochet around the entire piece. So add two single crochet at the corner and continue to single crochet around. And I will meet you here where I'll do the slip stitches. So when we're getting down here, we're just gonna wanna slip stitch so that we keep the shape and then continue single crocheting around. Okay, and I'm gonna work up all the way to the top corner here and then we'll slip stitch 
to join. Now fasten off with a long tail for seaming to the hood. Okay, so this is how our face piece is all gonna go onto the hood. And what we wanna do is take our nose now and sew it right in here to our dog face, okay? So just position it right in the center and then we can just sew, sew it on. Just make sure to kind of fiddle with it to give it sort of that triangular shape. So I'm going to sew mine off camera and then I'll meet you back up again. Okay, so I'm just giving it a little fiddle just to kind of give it a little bit more shape. Then what you can do is take your yarn needle and even your little muzzle here, you kind of want to puff it up to give it give it some shape. So now we can just take this give him his shape there. A lot of this part is really fiddly just getting the shape to look nice and now I'm just going to weave this tail and then I'll give that a trim. Then you can see how the eyes are just going to fit right in here with the face. And next I'm going to work on getting the little ears done before I start seaming all of my pieces. Okay, so for the ear, we'll need some of our main color as well as taupe. And now we'll be beginning with the taupe for the inside of the ear. So let's make a slip knot, put that on the hook, and we'll begin with a chain three and work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and the next chain. Chain one and turn. We'll work two single crochet in the first stitch and two single crochet into the next stitch. Chain one and turn, work one single crochet in every stitch across. Now we'll chain one and turn and we'll do another increase. So we'll increase the first stitch by two, work across to the last stitch, and in the last stitch we'll add two single crochet. So now we have six stitches, chain one, work one single crochet in every stitch across. Okay, so I've worked a total of five rows and I would like now a total of eight working at the six stitches. So row six, seven, and eight, we will just work one single crochet in every stitch across. So there's row six, do two more rows. Okay, so we need to actually do another row here. So nine in total. Okay, so there's nine rows and then on the 10th row, we will change color. So let's go across, still working six stitches Two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten 10 rows in total. 
and we can change actually on that last stitch to our main color. So what we'll do is just bring in the main color and pull through. Chain one, turn, and work across six stitches. So I want a total of six rows at six stitches. So we've completed one and I'll need to complete five more. So I'll go ahead and do that off camera. And once I've completed that, I'll meet you up for the decrease rows. So two, four, six rows. I'll chain one and turn. I can actually cut my taupe yarn. And now we'll do a decrease across the first two stitches. One in each of the next two. And a decrease across the last two. One and work across four stitches. Then we'll decrease across the first two, decrease across the last two, and complete our two stitches. I'm going to chain one and turn. Now what we can do is just get rid of our tails this needles a little big it's a little tight So now what we'll do is fold up our ear. And what we're gonna do now is single crochet the pieces together. So I'm gonna go through the top first stitch, going through the stitch the back, go through the next stitch, cause we had two stitches at the very top and then we're just gonna work around. So what I want you to make sure you do is just count how many stitches you work on each side just so they're even, and we'll add two in the corner. So as I work, I like to count just to make sure I do the same on the other side. So I have eight and the ninth is going to go in the corner and we're going to add two. And then crochet across the bottom. Two in the next corner. Now I have to make sure that I have eight because the ninth was in the corner. So I am just gonna complete that now and I'll meet you up at the top. And then we will slip stitch in the first stitch to join. This is how your ear is gonna look. Now the original yarn that this pattern was in was fairly soft and silky. So I did sew this part of the ear down but this yarn is a little bit heavier so it really shapes and molds really well so you don't have to fasten the ear down just if you want it to stay in place so how the ear is going to look is we're going to pinch it when we sew it to the top of the hood 
and I want it to be flipped over. But of course you don't have to, but if you want to tack it down with a little stitch, you can, or just fold it, um, just mold it on its own. So I'm gonna weave this tail in and then I'll, I will meet you up for the sewing. Now for sewing the ears to the hood, I like to take the hood and put it up as if it was sitting on your head. So I want the ears to come back here, sort of in this section. And I am going to pinch them together when I sew. So I know this section I'm gonna be sewing and this section. So I can look across my hood here at this row and make sure that they're even when I attach them. So now I'm gonna to need to grab some yarn to sew them on. So first I'm gonna take my ear. I'm gonna to try to not have that taupe yarn sticking out and I wanna sew the bottom of the ear together. So this is gonna give us a tail and it's also gonna get the ear pinched so that it's gonna give it its shape. Okay, so now I'm gonna sew the ear on to the hood. So I know that I'm sewing it to that row. And then when I sew it around, you want that your ear is gonna lay flat like this. So you're gonna sew through the ear like this. So when you're wearing that hood, this ear is gonna sit flat on top. And then we're just gonna Keep sewing all the way around. And what I always suggest is don't weave in any tails until you're all finished. Because if the ear doesn't go on right and you need to pull it off, it's really easy to pull the ear back off the hood if you haven't knotted or secured any tails. So you just get it there like this. Again, I like my ear to be folded over. If your ear will not stay, just give it a little stitch right there. So then we're gonna come over and do the same thing with our other ear. Sometimes it's cute even to have one ear sticking up and one ear flipped over. Really, however you wanna style your little puppy is fine. And for this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. And here's this row, so I know this ear needs to sit, not go past that end piece of this row. And that will get the ear on there nice and even. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna sew this ear. Probably don't need that much yarn.
Okay, so I am just going to complete now sewing this ear and then I'll meet you back up again. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is sew on my face piece. So I like to just, again, kind of get it molded. You could always add a little bit of polyester fill in there if you really want those to puff up. You can even kind of fiddle around with your stitches here and even pop that up a little bit. So what you want to do is make sure when you're sewing that you're leaving that you can work into these stitches down here on the hood because we still have to edge the hood. So that's just something to be, if you have to move your face piece up, just make sure you don't sew it in to there. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is sew it right to the hood. So you're just wanting to go through a small bit of the hood and you're just going through the back loop only of the stitch. And just sew that, make sure it's nice and even. And again, don't weave in any of those tails until you are sure that you have it sewn on correctly. Because it really is easy to pull it off if you get it crooked. As long as you don't weave anything in. Then you can give it its shape. You don't wanna like push it and flatten it out too much. Give it a little shape as you sew it on and then that just gives the hood a little bit more dimension. So I'm going to continue working this around off camera and then I'll meet you up again. Okay, so I sewed on my eyes as well. I just cinched them right in nice and close to the face piece and just sewed them on the same way that I showed you how to do the other pieces. So now what we're going to do is sew the hood to the blanket. So what I like to do is lay the blanket out. So I have the right side facing and I centered my hood onto the blanket and I did this already as I marked with stitch markers. So what you want to do is just count over your stitches, add a stitch marker and count over the same amount of stitches on the other side and add a marker. So I had 14 stitches but you just want to lay yours out and make sure that you have an even number of stitches on each side and that the hood goes nice and evenly in between your markers. So then all you're gonna do is take the tail that's on the hood So put your yarn on your yarn needle. Then we're just gonna sew the hood to the blanket and you're just gonna go through the stitches of the blanket and just through the bottom of the hood. So you're just looking to evenly sew that across. Line it up on the other side by your marker. And just sew it across. So I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll meet you up when I'm done. Now to do the edging, I'm gonna just join back on to the working yarn that I left when I was working the blanket. And all you're gonna do is work now single crochet stitches across the blanket to the hood. So we're going to edge the entire blanket now just in a single crochet border. And 
when you get to the hood, we're just going to work in each stitch across the hood. I'm going to continue to work across to the corner. So when we get to the corner, I'm going to add three single crochet stitches. And then we're going to evenly work down the side of the blanket. So you just want to evenly space out your stitches in a way that the side of the blanket is going to lay nice and flat. So if you're adding too many stitches, it's going to look bunchy if you've if you're doing too few it's going to pull so you just want it to lay nice and flat so what i like to do is work down it a little ways and then i just go back and see okay do i need to change the way i am single crocheting this across to keep the edge nice and smooth. Okay, so just continue working that all the way around, add your three single crochets in the corner. Then when you get back up to the top where we started, you can just slip stitch to join. Okay, so when we're coming to the end, add two single crochet in that last stitch and slip stitch to join. Then we can just fasten off and weave in our tails. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you how to do the little mitten paws. You could add fringe up the side of the blanket if you like, or this is another option that you can add the little paw mittens to the side of the blanket. I'm not gonna be adding any fringe to my toddler size, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the little mitts. So to make the mitten, we'll make a magic ring and we'll pull the yarn through and chain one now I'll work eight single crochet in the ring. Then I'm going to pull my ring tight. So take your tail. One loop will start pulling in. So take that loop, give it a tug. It'll pull in the other loop and then just take your tail and pull. Now we'll slip stitch in the first single crochet to join. chain one, and then we'll work two single crochet into every stitch around. So you'll end up with a total of 16 stitches. Now we'll slip stitch to join, chain one, and we'll do six rounds now at 16 inches, at 16 stitches. So we'll have a total of eight rounds all together, but we'll do an additional six rounds just with the 16 stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and work that off camera and then I'll meet you up for the decrease round. Okay, and then for our decrease round, we'll work a single crochet in the first stitch and then a decrease across the next two stitches. So single crochet and then a decrease, go through the stitch, pull up a loop, go through the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three stitches and work that repeat all the way around. So you should have 11 stitches. We'll slip stitch to join, chain one, and then we'll work a single crochet in every stitch around. And we'll do this for two rounds in total. Okay, so I've worked all the way around and I'm gonna slip stitch to join. And fasten off. And now I have used pretty much exactly six balls to make my toddler size blanket. You may want to get an extra ball just to be on the safe side because that was cutting it pretty close to finish my little mitts. So what you want to do is make sure your tail is to the side for sewing before you sew on your little pads. Now I've already made a few so you want five for each 
pad, so you need to make 10 in total. And these are really simple to make. All we're gonna do is make a magic ring. Pull the yarn through, chain one, and we'll work five single crochet in the ring. We'll tighten up our ring slip stitch in the first single crochet to join. It's always a little tight getting into that stitch. You can just weave this tail back in the opposite direction to secure it and then I will meet you back up and we will sew the little pads to the mitten. Now for sewing on the pads I like to just have one in the center and then just kind of space them all out around it like so. So what I like to do is start with the one in the center and then just sew on the other ones around just like this one here. So when I'm sewing, I just like to go through the mitten and then through the back loop of the little circle. So I'm just gonna show you the one and then I'll sew the rest of them to my mitten off camera. Okay, so once you get that all in place, you're just going to want to weave the tail just to hide it underneath. Just to make sure that this is nice and secure and then trim it. Okay, so I'll complete sewing mine on and then I'll meet you up for the final step. So I would like the paw to go like this. So when they're holding the blanket, you're seeing this side. So you wanna put this side of the mitten against the right side of the blanket. Then you're just gonna take your yarn needle, put your, yarn, put your tail on here, and we're just wanting to line up now the side of the blanket with the mitten. You're just going to sew this on. And you'll do this to both sides. You can just weave in your tail and give that a trim. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day.